I think that there's a distinction. We're talking about anger and the feeling of it and the expression of it. Um, I, um, there are times when expression of anger is a release. Um, oftentimes, the expression of anger reinforces the expression of anger. I really think it's important that you cultivate the quietness to be able to appreciate the feelings of anger. I think that's important, that you be a witness to it and own your feelings of it. The difference between owning your feelings and expressing them is two different things. And often when you express them, you, in, by the expression itself, you create new karma. And from a karmic point of view, the art is to extricate yourself from old karma to the point where you're not creating new karma. And so, the, as long as you're not acknowledging your own feelings, you're in deep trouble. The acknowledgement of the own feelings and then the question of whether you can let them go without running them through. Because you see that as if I say to my mother, you done me wrong and I'm angry, she then gets defensive in response to what I just said. She starts her thing and we keep playing the one out. If I can acknowledge it and then let it go because I appreciate the predicament we're both in, there is a possibility that we can let go at that moment. The minute it's up to the most conscious person in any dynamic to let go the soonest. Okay? So that's an art form. And, but at yet at, there are times when it's wonderful to beat pillows and express it in whatever way, to just realize, to allow the feeling to come out. I think part of the maturity of us is an ability to feel grief, to feel remorse, to feel sadness, to allow it to not be afraid of it, to allow it to work its healing way, because that's part of what being a mensch or a, you know, a, that's a Sanskrit word for a, a full, full being is.